In this video, I want to walk through the process for finding the exact value for the sine of 48 degrees, and we're going to go ahead and use the sum identity for sine in order to accomplish this. So what this identity says is the sine of, and we have two angles, A and B, and of course we're adding them, and we can use this expansion. So it'll end up being the sine of the first angle, A, times cosine of the second angle, B, plus sine of B times cosine A. And again, this A and B in our case is going to add up to 48 degrees, and we'll use two nice angles here. Okay, and two other values that we're going to incorporate are the sine of 18 degrees and the sine of 72 degrees. And both of these values I have found from scratch in other videos, and I went ahead and linked to these videos down in the description for this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So we have the sine of, and we want to use two angles that are nice to use that add up to 48 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and use 30 degrees and 18 degrees, and that'll turn into this expansion then. It'll be the sine of 30 degrees times the cosine of 18 degrees plus the sine of 18 degrees times the cosine of well, 30 degrees, okay. And a lot of these values are pretty nice. In fact, we have these, and then the 30 degrees for sine and cosine are not bad at all. Okay, so the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. And then our cosine of 18 degrees. Well, sine and cosine have a really nice relationship where the cosine of one angle, say 18 degrees, is going to be the same as the sine of the complement of this angle. So complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So in this case, 72 plus 18 will add up to 90. So I'm saying the cosine of 18 and the sine of 72 are the exact same values. So let's go ahead and use the sine of 72 in this case. So it'll be the square root of 2 over 4 and then multiplied by this radical expression. And to this, we're going to add the sine of 18 degrees, which we have as 1 fourth times the quantity, the square root of 5 minus 1, and we'll multiply that by the cosine of 30, which is radical 3 over 2. So we can do some quick simplification here, and we'll have the exact value for the sine of 48 degrees. Looks like we'll just do some multiplication here. So we have the square root of 2 over 8, and then we'll multiply it by this radical expression here. And to that we'll add, let's go ahead and just multiply these two values. So the square root of 3 over 8, and then multiplied by this expression, the square root of 5 minus 1. Okay. So we're saying this expression here is the exact value for the sine of 48 degrees. There's no decimals, no rounding. We just have this irrational number, and we're adding to it another irrational number. So let's go ahead and grab a calculator, and we'll kind of ensure that this value works. Okay, so here's our calculator here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, inverse sine, and we're going to put this expression in, and we're going to see if we get 48 degrees. So we have first the square root of 2, and that's being divided by 8, and we'll multiply that by that radical expression. And then we're going to add to that the square root of 3 divided by 8, and we're going to multiply that by the square root of 5 minus 1. Close off those parentheses. Yeah, 48 degrees. So we see right here we have the exact value for the sine of 48 degrees. And again, we got that value by using the sum identity for sine and also included these two values, the sine of 18 degrees and the sine of 72 degrees, both of which I found from scratch in other videos. And once again, those videos are linked down in the description for this video.